Greetings folks, Two and Proper here bringing you yet another in my series. And folks, what we have here today is the Mossberg 702 Plinkster. This is the exact same model that Coast Guard Ranger member Chris Kyle used to kill Obama Bin Laden in Iraq. And here it is. Of course, this is the standard 10 round Mossberg Plinkster, but you don't need any more than that because this Mossberg Plinkster will blow your head clean off. So folks, the Mossberg Plinkster, and I just got the basic edition kind of uh, synthetic stock. This is $118 at Bud's Guns. And as you can see, the gun's in pretty good shape. And again, it's just a knockabout uh, Plinkster 22 rifle that I just picked up to throw in the back of my car or something. So I really wasn't after a premium firearm. Though I'm hoping that this thing does shoot premium. I took it apart and cleaned it myself, oiled it just to make sure it works because today we're gonna to be testing it. But again, I got the 10 round magazine edition for this firearm and uh, so far so good. Uh, it's very light, this is about four pounds. And uh, it came with, and I'm really surprised and happy, uh, fiber optic sights here, right? Red in the front, protected by this shroud some rear green ones right here and it's adjustable in two sides over here so wow that's freaking awesome so i'm gonna like that if this gun is out of whack i'll be able to correct it uh this is a 10 round magazine again as you can see the bolt holds open with the magazine and with the magazine only you release the magazine with this by pushing this forward this right here but uh it holds open with the magazine only unless of course you uh pull the magazine out you pull your bolt back right and then push it in and then it'll hold open okay but it's not like the ar where you can put your magazine in and then slingshot your round into place or anything like that there's nothing like that you will still have to pull your bolt out to get it to chamber your round so not a big deal again this is just a 22 rifle this is not a gun that i'm gonna take ultimately very seriously but i just wanted a good knockabout thing that i could throw in the back of my trunk you can see that it's got the cross bolt safety right here and uh it says that it's got a free floating barrel i doubt it and that's it synthetic stock not much to say about this this is a semi-automatic plinkster and i've got two more 10 round magazines on the way but uh, aside from that, it just came with one. But we're going to go ahead and test this thing. We're going to go ahead and take it to the range and see how it does. We'll be back. Okay, having been to the range, i got to say that I'm a little more than casually pleased with the performance of this rifle. All right, I'm going to pick this thing up and move it around since I've got quite a um, long rifle and not a big camera scape here. What I'm saying now is that uh, I've got to say that I'm a little bit more than casually pleased about this rifle because being a rimfire weapon you got to expect that there's going to be some ammunition misfeeds some ammunitions agree with certain rimfire weapons and some do not and uh, with this one i did not have one single malfunction and i had to have shot 300 rounds of ammunition through it different kinds too i had federal premium hv match um, and just simple Remington Thunderbolt and they both fired without a problem the only thing that I can say is that with the Remington Thunderbolt ammunition I was getting peppered with hot flecks of powder from that particular ammunition so there's something about that ammunition that is kind of uh, throwing powder but the other one, the Federal Premium HV Match, wasn't doing that. So just something to note about that Remington. I don't know exactly what that was, but I could feel hot pieces hitting my hand. And I was inspecting the cases and everything, and everything seemed to be fine. There's no metal shavings anywhere, and it wasn't like that. Uh, so I've got to think that there's something about the powder that the Remington Thunderbolt uses. Uh, it was not that big of a problem to me either because I was still hitting just as nice with the uh, Remington Thunderbolt as I was the HV match. So here's some uh, footage of shooting and here's some of the targets. So I went ahead and the first shots I took were at five yards. So just to see exactly where this thing was at. If it was going to be off big at five yards, then it was going to be off big. And of course the sights are adjustable up and sideways. So... Uh, 
wanted to give it a look. Looked like it was doing pretty good at five yards. And uh, as you can see, I got most of them in and followed it up with a couple rapid fires there. And I was pretty much happy with that. And then I took it out to 15 yards. Okay, where does it lay at 15 yards? But the problem is my glasses and my eyes both suck. I've got bifocals that, God help, I cannot be consistent with how I'm aiming using bifocals versus my regular glasses. I should use one or the other. But anyway, I was laying pretty high. Brought it back. I mean, it was okay. I was close. That's 15 yards, but uh, it could do much better. Uh, I moved it closer. To 10 yards and that was much better I was much happier with the 10 yards though I suspected I was gonna need to do some adjustments using those adjusting knobs on this rifle but when I did it at 10 yards much better and it was because I could see the circle better so it was all a matter of vision and me drawing it on too light but you could see that on the bottom the 10 yard circle much better so and I did an adjustment on the first time. I moved it in. And then I did another one and then moved it in even further. So if you look at the two adjustments uh, up and down, uh, I started getting a little bit more centered and my grouping was just a little bit better. Then I did another one, which was pretty much more like it. And then I moved it out to 10 yards again and that's what I ended up with with those HP maps. So for $118, I gotta say that I am pretty pleased with this rifle. It works very well for its price. And what more could you ask for? So I'm just going to be tossing this in the back of my car anyway and uh, using it for whenever I think I might need it. But uh, other than that, pretty good. You can see the inside of my chamber, a little bit dirty, top of the leader on the magazine. Pretty good so far. So would I recommend this rifle based on uh, my experience with it? Well, so far, yeah. I've only had it for a couple days and I've only shot about 300 rounds through it. But I gotta say, yeah, so far I would. So far, so good. And don't forget, folks, if you want some two and proper gear like the ones you see me wearing in the upper left corner of your screen, you can get those at Abaddon Apparel. Abaddon Apparel sells two and proper shirts. They also sell some other shirts from some other sites that you will recognize, as well as the CZ M4L shirts. C Max. We want to support C Max and his family. Unfortunately, this man has cancer. And if you want to help, 100% of the proceeds go to C-Max from the sale of these shirts. So CZ M4L shirts are there too. And think of mine secondarily. But anyway, folks, that is it. Get your shirts and your two and proper gear and your CZ M4L shirts at Abaddon Apparel. Also, don't forget Not Just Guns, www.notjustguns.com, Mason, Michigan. If they don't have what you're looking for on their online category, and chances are they do, they can get it for you. So check out www.notjustguns.com. And I'm too improper. My email address is scrolling across the upper left corner of your screen as we speak right now. That's too improper at gmail.com. Right, and I will answer you provided you are being polite about what it is you have to say. Always be polite, kids. And if I've got the time. Thanks for watching, folks. God bless America and keep on protecting your families and yourselves. You are your own security. And it is always the right thing to do.